Hello Stampers! I'm Kelly Atchison coming to you from astampabove.com. I was so excited when Split Coast Stampers contacted me and asked me to do a tutorial with the camouflage background. I just really feel we don't have enough options for masculine cards. This is a great technique that you can use with almost any stamp set other than like, well, flowers, unless you wanted to make a pink card with camel because girls like camel too, right? So I'm going to show you how to do this background and also complete this card. Let's get started. I've got my cardstock layers here. The first piece I have is my card base. That is Early Espresso and it's four and a quarter wide by 11 inches long and it's scored at five and a half inches. Then I have two layers of crumb cake at four by five and a quarter. Another Early Espresso that is four by two and three eighths a piece of very vanilla that's two and a quarter by four, another piece of early espresso that is one and seven eighths by three and five eighths, and then my final piece of crumb cake that is three and a half by one and three quarters. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is get right down to our technique. We're gonna be using the vanilla layer for the technique. I'm also bringing in my ink pads here, and I've got Crumb Cake, Soft Suede, Old Olive, and Always Artichoke. I'm gonna open up my Crumb Cake ink pad, and I am going to just slide it across my vanilla cardstock. And this just kind of tones down the background. And then we're going to do something a little crazy, and I know this makes people a little nervous, but we're going to crumple this up. So let's just gently crumple our cardstock up and get it nice and wrinkly. And then we're going to kind of lay it back out here, just like that. And we're going to come in with our soft suede ink, and this is a direct-to-paper technique. So I'm just going to touch the soft suede to my layer. And that looks good enough for me. I'm gonna let this dry just a little bit. I'm coming to you from Wisconsin where it is very, very humid right now, so my ink pads are extra juicy. If you find that you have a problem with your ink pads being over juicy, just take a um, piece of paper towel and dab the ink off a little bit. That happens in high humidity. You may see some bubbles on your ink pads. That's what that's what's happening there. Now I'm going to come in. I've scrunched my cardstock again and I'm going to come in with old olive. And I'm just going to kind of tap this. And if you now need the color to be in different places that are kind of getting missed like this one, just manipulate your layer of cardstock and bring that up a little higher so that your ink pad will hit it. And that looks good. And last but not least, we're gonna come in with Always Artichoke. Once again, I'm allowing this to dry just a little bit. Our dye inks dry really fast, and I'm going to crumple it up again just to get some different peaks sticking up when I apply the ink direct to the paper. And this is where you may wanna get a little pickier and kind of do a little bit more manipulating to get some more color in there, just like I'm doing here. I'm gonna tone down that vanilla that's still showing through. I like this technique because it's very easy. Each one that you do is gonna turn out a little bit different. And I think I want just a little bit more right there on the edge. And I think that looks great. Once we have our layer sufficiently inked up in the camel pattern, I'm gonna bring my bone folder in and I'm gonna hold my cardstock down and I'm just going to flatten it out nicely. Get all the crinkles out of it and this works pretty good. For the stamping on my card, I chose Early Espresso ink and I'm just going to take the boots from the Country Living Stamps, Country Living, L-I-V-I-N, Country Living stamp set. And I'm going to stamp those right down here in the corner. I'm gonna bring my soft suede ink in here and um, I'm gonna put some ink in the lid. So I've opened it up just a little bit. I'm going to squeeze it 
and that's going to give me a pool of ink right in the lid of my ink pad. Got a little bit of water coming out here and I always like to kind of color first on my scrap paper and then I'm just going to come in and color these boots in a little bit. I thought this stamp set was pretty appropriate to go with a camouflage background because the cowboy boots remind me kind of an old vintage looking image. I'm going to give it a little bit of ground down here. And if you'd like to, you can take a higher concentration of ink and do those boot straps and maybe the inside of the boots that'll be a little darker up here. You can add some darker areas to the wrinkles in the boots. That's where you would normally have shadowing. And it makes you look like an artist, which I love <laughs> because I'm not real artsy. Okay, there we go. That's the inside. I've got one other thing that I would like to do on the inside of my card. Back to the early espresso ink where I am going to stamp It's Your Day. I'm going to bring in my card base here and give it a good burnish with my bone folder. Using some liquid glue here to adhere my pieces together. We've got the inside of our card ready to roll. Now for the front. I've also chosen the Big on Birthday stamp set. I like this happy birthday image. Any stamp set would really work. We're gonna take the crumb cake layer and stamp the happy birthday on there. We're gonna do that kind of towards the top of this layer so that we can then bring in the little stars that come with the Big on Birthday stamp set. And I start right in the middle and stamp them and then go out to each side. I'm going to adhere this layer to the early espresso layer. Dimensions will be in the tutorial also on the Split Coast Stampers website. And we're going to take our camouflage. Make sure you want to make sure you get it some adhesive all the way around the outside edges of this crumpled camo layer because you want it to lay down nicely around the edges so you don't have it popped up any place. And now for our front layer, we're going to run this through the Pinewood Planks Dynamic Textures Embossing Folder. This is a little bit different folder. This folder is a lot thicker than what we're normally used to, so it gets positioned in the Big Shot a little differently. And let me show you that. I've got my Big Shot here with the regular platform that comes with it. We are going to first use some type of a spritzer and we're going to spritz this cardstock before we put it in here. With this big thick folder, you're only going to use one cutting pad on top of it versus one on the bottom and one on the top. When you run this through the Big Shot, it's recommended that you run it through and then before it goes all the way out, you back it up and bring it back. And this is going to give you a really deep 3D impression. These dynamic texture and folder folders are really amazing for their detail. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to place this on the front of my card. And again, I'm going to go all the way around the outside so I don't have anything buckled up on the edges. Let me make sure I've got my card the right way. Who's done that before, right? Glue it on upside down or on the wrong side. This wouldn't be upside down, but it would be on the wrong side. Here comes our camouflage layer.
And then for our happy birthday layer, I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back to pop that up. Dimensionals always make everything better as far as I'm concerned. Poke your fingernail into the middle of your dimensionals and that will make the edges pop up a little bit so it's easier to get that darn backing off of them. Sometimes that can give you so much grief. So just stick your fingernail in the middle, it'll pop the edges up and they'll come off much easier. And I'm going to place this right about here. My um, layer is still just a little bit damp, so it's having a little trouble sticking. You may want to allow that to dry a little bit more before you put it on your card front. And then I've got some linen thread, and I'm just gonna take three fingers, and I'm going to wrap that around four or five times or so. And then where my end started here, I'm just gonna tie it Oops, let me make sure you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna tie it in a knot right here. That kind of gives me a little lasso that goes with the cowboy boots on the inside. A mini glue dot rolled up is gonna be the perfect adhesive to add this little lasso to the front of our card. And there we go. A nice card, nice masculine card for the men in your life. So I hope you enjoyed this camouflage background tutorial. You can use this background with any of the stamp sets you have. Again, I used Big on Birthdays and Country Living. And if you make a card with this technique, please make sure you post it in the Split Coast Stampers Gallery so we can all see it and cheer you on. I love that. For more information and more creative ideas, you can visit me at www.astampabove.com. Thanks so much and have a spectacular day.